considering the uh, drawings, the drawing enhancements, um, some of my favorite ones uh, would be the drawing version history. So, uh, I have created um, using the Master Drawing Catalog some uh, Style 5 fabrication drawings, including single parts on assembly drawings, and I have also created a GA drawing of the 3D view. Uh, the drawing version history now. Uh, if you don't select anything within the document manager, you can uh, show all drawings and their versions related to the model, even the deleted drawings, by going uh, to the document manager and clicking drawing version located on the bottom left of your document manager. In this dialog box, uh, you can see the drawing versions, open the different versions, and show their snapshots. So, for example, I can see the different snapshots here, what has been changed, uh, which I consider to be a, a very interesting feature. There are two advanced options to uh, affect creating snapshots of drawings. It is the, uh, if we close, actually we don't have to, if we go to settings, advanced options and search for drawing create snapshot on drawing. As you can see, uh, this is uh, set to true by default to create a snapshot of a drawing at the same time while you create the drawing. This barely takes time and there is no need anymore to reopen and save drawings after creating this to create the snapshots. As you may know, uh, since 2089, the document manager has been added and has replaced the drawing list. As also you may have seen, it has a brand new interface for managing documents. Now you can bring in any documents to reference within a project. You can now, for example, bring in PDFs, NC files or even images. Edit some of the list data directly and organize documents and drawings in categories. For example, common documents in both. I think there are a lot of great improvements that have been made in the document manager. If you haven't yet explored the document manager, we are strongly um, suggesting you to do so. Now, in version 2019, uh, there has been uh, some new additions in the document manager. So we have the uh, new indicator uh, for sales that cannot be edited, as you can see. We, when the edit switch is active in Document Manager and you move the mouse cursor over a cell that cannot be edited, the cursor now changes to, to indicate that you cannot edit this specific cell, as you can see on the screen. Uh, we also have the new button Show All Documents. For example, um, if I'm on the single part drawings uh, list, and I'm clicking on uh, the eye icon, uh, that's resetting to show all documents. We have the invert document visibility, uh, which is located here. Uh, by clicking on that, uh, there is nothing is uh, visible from our drawings, but uh, if we untick it, uh, the drawing reset back to normal. Document uh, Manager search box supports uh, now in this version uh, macro recording and playback rather than typing uh, as you used to in version 2019 and 2018 I. And we have the new category association options. Now, a bit more about the new category association options. Tecla Structures 2018i already included an option to use categories for documents such as drawings and reports in the document manager based on rules filter. Tecla Structures 2019 now includes a new option to also categorize documents manually, for example for drawings because of additional work. 
Uh, this option is handy for documents that would be difficult to categorize or in case there is no category available. Uh, all modifications in categories are stored in the file document manager categories um, underscore user dot XML in the current model folder. To make use of modified categories in all Tecla Structures models, you must copy the concerned file to the folder Tecla Structures and rename the file to document manager categories dot XML. You can see more on this on our Tecla User Assistance uh, website. And of course, to create a manual category and add documents there, you will just have to select the documents from the list, like I will do now. I will select these uh, four beam shaft drawings. Uh, right click and select Manual Category. Then add to new and you should have the new category uh, box pop up on your screen. You can uh, type a name to the category like um, beam shaft drawings. Uh, there is an optional tooltip as well and uh, you can also define some uh, further settings like the group, how you can uh, uh, sort index it, combining operator, association type, this is for search uh, purposes, or allow delete, of course it's ticked by default. Then you save that and the new manual category is uh, located in the bottom of the uh, document manager. If you want to add your documents in an already existing category, you just have to select them by holding control uh, down on your keyboard right click to um, manual category add to an existing beam shaft drawings for example uh, if uh, you you can also save um, recently changed documents in uh, the new manual category. You can edit the manual category by uh, right clicking on it and clicking on edit. You can even change uh, the name of the category. And uh, you can also remove uh, some documents from the category by uh, selecting them and uh, right clicking on them and then a remove from beam shaft drawings and uh, they can be removed easily as that and finally you can delete the manual category uh, should you not uh, want it anymore by right clicking on it and clicking on the delete option as simple as that uh, that was the recap of some of the 2019 and 2019i key features. I really hope you enjoyed it and please do not hesitate to contact us in support should you have uh, any further questions. Thank you very much for your time.